All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakar, Fadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and salutations to Aki and pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking your life to do so. And uh, yeah, man, brother Tawabash from Great Millstone Northwest, uh, coming back with another lesson. And Lord willing, this is edifying unto the hopeful elect. Um, so, like, um, grab this first scripture. So this, uh, you know, this uh, is a lesson, you know, that's not, uh, that is, yeah, definitely dealing with prophecy, um, but in a, 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 a different way, right? The, um, the Lord for Israel, right, you Negroes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and similar Indians, so-called, you are the Lord's chosen people. And you were given laws, statutes, and commandments that you were supposed to abide by. We as a nation went off and broke those laws, statutes, and commandments. One of those uh, curses um, in Deuteronomy 28 said, if you don't uh, adhere to all these, then you know, you're going to be under these curses. One of those curses was to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through uh, via slavery and uh, uh, the other nations coming up against us. Right. But that's the beauty of it is because we're we are going to be called uh, out of those nations. Right. So you're going to have Israelites who are elect men who are going to be delivered. that look like Bruce Lee. That look like Paula, Troy Palomalu. That look like uh, uh, an African. That look like uh, an Australian. That look like uh, a, a Filipino. Because we've been scattered under every nation under this planet. Right, the Hamites, you Africans, the Arabs, you uh, you uh, Ishmaelites, right? Elam, you Persians, um, East Indians, Iranians, um, uh, who else is out there? So-called white men. You gonna have you gonna have Brad Pitt's coming up out of this thing, you know, getting delivered, looking, you know, Jake looking like a straight up white boy. Um, you're going to have Ammon, Moab, your Japanese, your Chinese, which pretty much is, encompasses all of those Eastern Asian cultures. Uh, Japheth, your uh, Vietnamese, your darker Asians, your Lao Asians, your Cambodians, your Aboriginals, your uh, Pacific Islanders, your Samoans, your Tongans, your Maoris, all that shit, man. So we're going to be called, you're going to have Jake looking like all of that coming out when the Lord comes to deliver uh, his elect because we've been dispersed amongst those nations and he's going to call us home out of those nations. So, you, you know, you can't, you got to judge the spirit by the spirit. You can't judge it by the look. In this video, Lord willing, is helpful for those who may be struggling with that, right? Like, damn, man, you know, I'm white, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm African. Like that little boy that came up to, to Zariac's bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was some man pleasing shit that nigga did because he knew that was a little Israelite. He knew that was a little Israelite, but he could, he had to save face for ISUPK. He had to please Captain, uh, or not, 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 not to Zariac. Who was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he had to please, uh, please, uh, uh General jo Johanna. J General Johanna. Right, and uh, you know what I'm saying. He couldn't be caught on that video, being like, "Yeah, brother, you got the spirit of an Israelite. You're right." And the kid called him out, like, "Man, you felt what we just had, and now you want to throw it away because of where I'm from, nigga. You're tripping." Um, because you're gonna have Israel looking like every nation under the sun, right? Let's get into the lesson, so lucky. I don't want to rant, uh, go on too much of a rant, but I wanted to bring some understanding of where this lesson's coming from. Um, it's for, for hope because you may believe in this. If you believe in this, don't let the way you look stop you from coming out here and, and, and getting this truth. That That's really what it is, you know, because, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man, because it don't matter what you look like. It matters about what your bloodline is, who who, who your blood goes back to. And if you have the spirit of your Yahweh Shai in you, 
right? Your bloodline goes back to an Israelite. It don't matter if it was uh, at the beginning of time, you know, when Israel was born, you know, when Jacob was got his blessing. And you go back to those 12 tribes during that time, but now you look white, Chinese, you know, uh, Islander, you look Arab. It don't matter, man. You got the spirit of the Lord in you. You better have some faith that you're an Israelite because that's the only people going to be delivered out of this thing. All right. So this is, you know, just a little bit of hope. Uh, Esther 3 and 8. And Haman said unto King Ahas Ahas Ahasuerus, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of the kingdoms uh, of the kingdom. And their law, laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's law. Therefore, it is not the king's profit to suffer them. Right. So, hey, check that out. Right. We are under the laws of Yehovah Shem You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shem And so man's law were to abide by the, the law of the land until it affects the most high's law, like that RFID microchip or this vaccine that's coming up. Right, you had the Maccabees brothers that held it down and wouldn't eat the king's meat. Right, they refused the king's meat because they knew it was wicked, um, and it went up against our culture. Right, it went against um, our commandments. Right, we don't play that shit, man. And Lord willing, we can stay strong and endure until the end, and and, and avoid that microchip. And, and He keeps that uh, um, keeps that Holy Spirit on us. Um, this is Psalms 44 and 11 Thou hast given us Like sheep appointed for me Because these other nations fucked us up man There ain't no if, ands, or buts about it And the one that fucked us up the most Esau, Edom The so-called white man Put it on us man he, he furthered the affliction The Lord gave him that ability to be his whooping stick. All right, fuck my people up for their transgressions, right? But they took the Bible upon themselves. They took the God of the Bible upon themselves, right? And so then they took that law upon themselves. So they were supposed to let us go after a certain period or after a certain a whooping that went too far. Because there's laws to even to having slaves. You gotta follow laws to even have slaves. If you can't follow that law, you shouldn't own slaves. And that's that's the whole point, man. They shouldn't have been having those slaves because they, man, they're wicked as hell. Wicked, you know. That's that's Esau, Edom, the devil, man. So-called white man. Uh, but the point is, is is the Yahweh, the power of the universe, the, the creator of all things, has given us like sheep, man, appointed for me, and has scattered us among the heathen. So we've been scattered among all the heathen. So you ain't going to look like, and not everybody going to look like damn uh, Wesley Snipes looking ass, Bernie Mac, crusty looking, you know what I'm saying? Israel is as a speckled bird. So you're going to have all these colors. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to be Israelites. And they're going to have power, man, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to come out and do this work. They're going to be speaking um, and prophecy as their ancestors have. Whether they look like their ancestors or not, it's about the spirit. So Jeremiah 30 and 10. Therefore fear not, O my servant Jacob, saith Yahweh, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar off. Uh, oh, from afar, right? So what does that mean? When he comes to deliver the house of Israel, he's going to save us from far away, right? And thy seed from the land of their captivity. Man, hey, we in, our, we in the land of our captivity right now, you know? And that's all over the place. Esau, Edom's ru ruling the planet right now. He is ruling the planet. Therefore, we are in the land of our captivity where you whether you're i mean look how they treat um the negritos and uh in every country right india uh you can see jake everywhere the philippines 
Uh, and they're always under curses and are always treated as second class citizens compared to the rest of the people. Uh, this is uh, verse 11. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't done with that. And Jacob shall return, right? This is when Yahweh Shai comes back to deliver the elect and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. Uh, verse 11, for I am with thee, saith Yahweh, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. So we got to go through what we're going through. We're under these curses for a purpose and a reason. And we're going through it. But that's the furnace of affliction. Take that, eat that, help it build you up. That's how you know the Lord's dealing with you. It says the Lord chastises who he loves. And if he's chastise, chastising you, he dealeth with you as sons and not bastards. So take that shit cheerfully. Go through the shit we going through right now. Because uh, Romans 8, uh, the uh, the current sufferings that we're going through now are not to be compared to that which should be shall be revealed in us, which is the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we be a part of that number. This is uh, Jeremiah 31 and 10. Hear the word of, uh, of Yahweh, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, right, four corners, and say, he that scattered Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. So even though, let's read verse 11. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. That's beautiful, man. And right now, our, our enemy is, is exalted. The Lord put him above us, right? Uh, the basis of men are, are, are above us right now for a lesson, for a, for a, a hard ass whooping. So we got to take this and learn from it and roll with it and go with it because uh, you got to go through it to get to it. As my brother uh, Ashiar always says, man, because it, it, if you're not going through it, what's what's waiting for you at the end? What are you going to be delivered from? What do you need saving from if everything's all fucking good? Only those that are of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are going to be sighing and crying for the abominations that are done herein. Right? And, hey, he said he's going <laughs> to... He... He's going to gather us, man, and redeem us. He ransomed us. Yahweh Shah was that ransom, man. That's crazy. Like, people don't realize that he was the ransom. Like, we got robbed of our culture, our identity, everything about it. Right? For good reason. Because we went off and we offended our power. It's like you're a piece of clay. You just got made. And you're like, man, I don't, I don't like looking like this. I don't like feeling like this. I don't want to listen to shit you got to say, even though you made me. That's some fucking weird shit, man. You know, and, and I get it, right? You have to have faith to believe what we believe. We're based 100% on faith. You can't see the most high physically. Spiritually, you can see him. But physically, you ain't going to just turn around and be like, oh, there's God. There's the most high you have Oh, there's, you know, there's our Lord. Oh, and there's our Savior, too. You can't, you can't physically see them. All right, so blessed are they that believe and have not seen. Because that's what type of faith is going to get us delivered. And everything we've been telling you is from the, the originators. Uh, not originators, but the, the first ones on, on deck. You know, Abba Bivens, uh, King Masha. Uh, Yaiqua, Elder Yaiqua from the apostles and the elders on down. You know, this this truth, it, 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 it's living. And you're starting to see it coming to fruition. You know? Um, yet, uh, this is a long lesson, man. It's going to be like a five-part, maybe a four-part lesson, Lord willing. And uh, this is just the first video um, in that... Uh, that part series, Lord willing, and uh, um, Lord willing, it's edifying, you know. Um, so, you know, to those that are 
scattered abroad. You know, you're starting to see camps pop up in Italy and Philippines and Africa and South and Central America, Canada, um, you know, all over all over the globe. And uh, is there, there's a reason why, you know, because we've been scattered throughout the four corners. We got brothers that look like every nation under the sun. And, uh, you know, but they're brothers. And their bloodline goes back to where our bloodline goes back to, Lord willing. You know, and, and hopefully uh, they can endure until the end and be delivered, man. Some will. That's that's what uh, Acts, uh, at, uh, Acts, the second chapter is talking about, two and five. But that's a little bit further down. So, hey, with that, hey, shalom.